everyone welcome to my goldman sachs associate sd2 interview experience before moving forward i'll tell you who i am so currently i'm working as a sd2 in a product based company i also want to share you that how did i even receive this opportunity recently i created my account on nokri.com where recruiter saw my profile and reached out to me through email in the email they provided the link of the job that i was supposed to apply for I did the same and applied to the given job on the Goldman Sachs career portal. So let me take you through the process of Goldman Sachs interview. So the first round is going to be online assessment. The second round is also called as coder pad which is a DSA round. The third round is data structures. The fourth round is software engineering practices. The fifth round is software design and architecture and the sixth round is hiring manager round. So once I applied to the link that was given in my email, I received the invite for the online assessment. So let me take you through the online assessment. So in the online assessment, there were only two medium level DSA questions that I was supposed to answer and the time duration was 120 minutes. So that means that I had one hour for one question and it did not take like 120 minutes to complete those two questions as it was medium level. So I was able to do both the questions that was given there. And then post that I have to wait for around a week to get the results. I post that one of the recruiter reached out to me for asking the timelines on the for the next round that was to be held, which is also known as coder pad. And this is a DSA round. I asked her about the slots that were available and then I choose one of them. So let us go through the coder pad round. I joined the coder pad link that was shared by the recruiter and then we there was no introduction that was needed. So the interviewer didn't ask me for any introduction. We directly jumped into the coder pad link that was shared to me. So the first question that he asked me was lead code 41. That was first missing positive. So this is a very famous question. So it has two approaches. One is using hash map and the other approach is reducing the space complexity. So um, I was not able to come up with the uh, with the most optimized approach. So I explained him the optimized approach that was there in my head. So uh, he was happy with it and he said that, okay, you can code this out. So I coded the same and then we were good with this. So uh, let me get you through the next question that he asked me. So the next question that he asked me was lead code 542. 01 matrix so as soon as so this is uh, there's something interesting there so what happened that as soon as he gave me this question so i did this question like a month before uh, at the time i was interviewing so i just got really happy because uh, after seeing the question i straight forward said him that okay this is a multi-source uh, bfs question so uh, so he started laughing so I was surprised that why did he even started laughing? So I asked him that, why are you laughing? Because I was nervous, right? So I asked him that, why are you laughing? So he said that, uh, I think that you, are, you have already solved this question and you already know this question. That is why I was laughing. So I said, okay. Uh, so I was surprised after listening that. So I said that I've already done a lot of uh, matrix based question. Doesn't mean that I've done this question before. So, okay, then uh, we just moved forward from that. And then I just uh, uh, did some dry run on my paper pen. And then I, uh, I just told him my approach that was there. And then he agreed to it. And then I coded it out. So my coded pad run went really well. So post that I was waiting for recruiter to reach out to me. And then after a week, they got back to me. And then suppose that they reached out to me with a positive feedback of my coder pad round. And then we discussed about the next rounds that are going to happen. So in Goldman Sachs, they call it as a super round. So let me get you through what are the rounds that are there, as I said in the start, right? So if uh, the super day looks like this, that the first one would be data structure, second would be software engineering practices, third is software design and architecture. And if you qualify all these rounds, then only you're going to get an invite for hiring manager. So it was written to be discussed in the email as well that I received. So yeah, so uh, she said that, will you be available on the fr this Friday? We are going to have a super day. So I said, I agreed to it. And then uh, we went ahead with the uh, Friday as my interview day. So let's go through the interview day, the most exciting part. <laughs> okay, so the round one, as I said, is a data structure algorithm, right? So in Goldman Sachs, each interview would have two interviewers from this rounds. 
so in the quota pad you will have one interviewer but from in the super each round would have two interviewers so my first round had two interviewers and uh, one of them joined late initially we introduced each other and then we went ahead with my first question so in my my first question was lead code 32 longest valid parenthesis so this question i have never solved it before and so after seeing this question i just had an idea of how uh, we solve parenthesis questions right so i just got into uh, directly thinking about rather than wasting thinking of a stack approach and then going ahead for a most optimized approach what i did i just simply went ahead uh, thinking about open close so i came up with a solution i discussed with the interviewer and then the interviewer was happy with it and then i coded it out so after uh, so what happened that i said that the f- second interviewer didn't join so he joined late and then when we were doing some we, we were already done with this question and we tested almost all my questions so he came and then he started testing my solution with more test cases and then told me to like explain my entire approach and everything why i did this that so i explained everything to him and then i told him one more thing uh, so he asked me that uh, do you think about some more test cases so i said that there is one test case that i think that i'm missing on so if you remember right when we do parenthesis question once we go from start to the end and once we do from the end to start so in uh, the first move we try to take the uh, opening brackets uh, right opening brackets uh, in the first pass and the second pass we take from the closing bracket so i said that okay if i do two pass right so then uh, the one test case that i'm missing that would be covered so so what happened that he said okay you are right on that but can you do it in one pass so uh, i had no clue that how can that be done in one pass but i just thought again about that and then yes i was able to do it in one pass so yeah that's all that was there in uh, this question and post that that person asked me that why what is the data structure that you can also use over here and you haven't used so i did that okay we can also use stack uh, over here but uh, i and that would increase the space complexity and i didn't wanted to do that because i wanted to code out the most optimized solution so he was happy with it and then we moved on with the next question so till here we already we were done with 40 minutes and we were left with only 20 minutes the second interviewer gave me this question which is lead code 1721 swapping nodes in a linked list and it's a very famous question so uh, i didn't took much time i didn't even thought i directly implemented the solution and then i just tested it out and then we ended the uh, and i was able to complete both the question in one hour so once i completed the entire question they both were happy with it and i knew that it this went well from my side as well so yeah so this was my first round suppose that my next round was scheduled after 2 hours which was at 3 so i went ahead with my second round that was software engineering practice so in this round first of all there were two interviewers one was a back end engineer and the other was a front end engineer that was they introduced them, themselves as and then i introduced myself as well so suppose that the back end engineer gave me this dsc question that was lead code 1 2 3 5 maximum profit and job scheduling and tell you one thing about it so i was preparing for google interview like a month before so uh, what happened that time i i was preparing for hard questions at that time so that is the time when i actually did this question and then that got used in my goldman sachs interview as soon as i saw this question i was like little smiling at okay i know this but i acted a bit because i made mistake in the last interview that i directly told them right so i acted a bit and then i told him the solution dp solution of pick and don't pick and then i also optimized it i told him the binary search would be required for t- picking the next element and those all stuff i told him everything and then he was happy with my solution and then i coded that out and everything went well till here so now the back end engineer says to the front end engineer that's your turn go ahead and ask some questions i have no clue this was a back end role that she is going to ask me uh, front end questions so i have written i have already written angular in my resume so she asked me one question with angular so i simply said that so i did all my front end related work when i was working with a startup and post that i never did front end work so i just directly said and she was okay with that so uh, so once i said that so they started to grill me on my resume like everything that was there in my resume they asked me each and every line that was there so i was pretty much a, like prepared with those 
so she asked me everything that i did in my so i'll tell you which all companies i've worked throughout so i started my career with a startup company uh, because i passed out in corona so i worked there and then post that i was working with a service based company and then now currently i'm working with a product based company so started from start that why you did this why did you implemented this in your first company then we went through my second company experience everything i did there and what was the even the high level design was also as with you involved in the high level design and everything related to that as well so and then uh, i wrote that i recently used kafka in my current organization so you asked me can you explain me architecture of kafka so i explained that so yeah these were the question that was actually asked throughout in this round that was i would say this round included dsa plus resume and uh, this also went i would say it was pretty much average round third was software design and architecture so i uh, so th- that was after just after 15 minutes of the last round that i did so it was just after 15 minutes so i just uh, i was sitting there only and then i joined the next invite that was there so post that uh, so as soon as i joined so we introduced each other two interviewers were again there were two interviewers and both were backend engineers and then i introduced myself so the first question that they asked me was design pattern that i've used in my current project and why this design pattern was used and what were the benefits of using that so i told that there were multiple design patterns that i've used in my project three four design patterns that i've used in my project recently so i uh, i so i answered them that these are the design patterns that i've used and these are the benefits of using this and these were the situations that we used it and then they asked why this that and then i answered everything so post that they asked me that can you implement singleton design pattern uh, for us and make it thread check so i just did that as well so now comes the main part design high level design so uh, i was not aware that they are going to ask me high level plus low level so they gave me the question design stock broker application so they, first they asked me that whether you are aware of any of these brokers uh, like uh, grow zero dha and angel investor any of the brokers that you have ever used so they yeah, i have used zero dha so they said that okay let's start off with designing zero dha so um, so i said okay because zero dha is very vast right so i just said okay let's uh, first drill down that which which all features we want to uh, target so that i can i can complete it within the time that was there so i wrote down both the functional and non functional requirement that would be required for my design and then post that i started designing my uh, application started with major component that would be required and the and the communication that would be done with uh, multiple components of my design so once i was done with that so they told that okay let's go into the low level design so yeah one more thing they also asked me the flow of everything so i just told them the flow that how everything would work in my design and i posed that they say okay now let's get into the low level design of it so i created multiple microservices such as portfolio order so what happened that the second interviewer came into like action and then she she told me that pick any of the one that you want uh, from any microservice and just implement me one function from there so the first interviewer said me no uh, i want you to do the harder part please pick order not portfolio so okay then i went ahead and then we actually did the entire order uh, execution process that how a order would be placed so there was one more thing that we discussed so i said that there could be multiple types of order that could be there like you see like gtt order uh, there could be like uh, you can schedule your order so these were the things uh, so uh, he asked me that which design pattern will you use here so i just started to think so i said that there are multiple design patterns that you can use here right so some of the creational design pattern i actually tell to you know that those are easy ones you don't need to go for easy one you have to pick up the hard ones so tell me use any behavioral design pattern over here so i said okay i would use strategy design pattern over here and then he asked me what is strategy design pattern what is behavioral design pattern so i answered those and then i actually implemented sorry to you that but yes we do need to implement that i implemented that for a particular part and then i also wrote the entire execution process that would be required like all the functions that would be required in that placing the order feature 
so yeah these all were done and this was pretty much what i did in my third round and um, i was pretty much happy with this round and this round lasted for around 1.5 hours and post that what happened that uh, okay i was and i was really tired and exhausted with the entire process and then after half an hour of my interview i received a call from the recruiter that will you be free for another 30 minutes uh, in the day and it was already 6 so uh, i said because hiring hiring manager wants to meet you so i said uh, okay sure why not so she scheduled my interview at 6 pm and uh, for hiring manager and i went ahead with that so obviously i was pretty much have a happy till that point so i was able to qualify all the rounds uh, and then uh, i went for the my fourth round that was hiring manager round so uh, uh, so first of the things that he asked me uh, was uh, related to kafka again so uh, producer consumer how it works why did you choose kafka what was the need of using it was as the difficulty that you were you were facing and you went ahead with this approach uh, so i told him that what was the reason of us using kafka in our project then he asked me what is the difference between and we were using like mongo db in our uh, project so i know what is the difference between sql and no sql and uh, what all uh, databases you have worked with so i have worked with like four databases till now Uh, so i told him all the databases that i have worked with suppose that he gave me an sql query where you were supposed to use join as well as aggregate function so i wrote that sql query suppose that he grilled me a lot on different technologies that i have worked till now he also asked me about docker kubernetes cloud uh, why private cloud why not public cloud and multiple that aspects so everything looked fine that was all on friday and then i was waiting for a positive response and then saturday sunday was there on monday i called the recruiter and the recruiter uh, said me that we have not made any final decision till evening i'll call, give you a call in evening so i waited in evening and then uh, i tried call, uh, reaching out to her but she didn't respond it and then i received magical words thank you for interviewing with goldman sachs I don't know how many openings they were having. Everything went well, but but yeah, I was rejected. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, I would say uh, that the learnings that I have with Goldman Sachs was unique because they have a broader spectrum of asking you question and then ask you each and everything that you have ever worked with. So that actually gives you more perspective about your own self. That what have you already worked on? and the areas that you need to improve on so this was all about my interview experience thank you everyone if you like this video please like and subscribe